We just wrapped up our new release, the For the Birds SVG bundle, which you can see here in front of me. I had a really fun time um, assembling everything for you guys. Uh, really fun project. Everything came out just as expected and um, great little pieces of decor or a small gift. And we wanted to kind of complete the bundle with a freebie, uh, a little bird inspired card. So if you're giving um, one of these birdhouses along with this, this gable box here um, full of some treats or a small gift, you can also give a little gift of an uh, actual card with a little sentiment, a thank you, get well, uh, even a sympathy card or a congrats, whatever it may be. And the um, card's very simple, so let's just kind of dive right in. I'm going to do a few things. Um, we'll call them extracurricular, even though they're not. Um, sometimes I don't show some of these things during the assembly videos because I refer people to these videos where I teach some of the little techniques, which aren't really techniques, they're just... Uh, anyway, I'll show you. So we've got the card here. This is our card base. Now, as you can see, I've got um, solid score lines here, which again, we've been including solid score lines um, ever since, I think, late November of 2018. So make sure you look in the extras folder um, for the solid score line folder, and that's where you'll find that. Okay, so what we're gonna do, this is the inside of the card here, <clears throat> and we're gonna first take this piece and we're going to glue it to the inside of the card. So grab your glue and let's get our glue on the back of this piece. Uh, focus on making sure that you get that glue out to the perimeter and then you know, hit the inside a little bit here and there. You don't need to get all crazy and get glue all over the place when we put this down. I think the perimeter is probably the most important part of it. Okay, so make sure the card's open. I've got my texture on the outside and just pop that right down, get it nice and centered. Make sure that the bottom is nice and aligned. And press that down. Make sure that it closes nicely obviously. There we go. Okay. Now one thing we're going to do, and you notice I'm not doing any inking on this. We're kind of keeping with the, well, I guess I did a little bit of inking on the other projects, the birdhouses and such, but that's okay. All right, so we've got that piece in place. It's pretty straightforward. And to kind of jazz this up a little bit, uh, we're going to take these two layers, these two birds here, and just run them through my cuddle bug. We actually just gave away a cuddle bug. I think it was Gale Schultz, I want to say. Something like that. But anyway, um, Cricket's actually discontinuing this thing. And I picked up a couple in case mine goes out. I wanted to have an extra one. And today we're going to use this. Um, this is actually a Tim Holtz embossing folder. Um, we call it Tiny Dot, it might be called something else, but it gives a really nice impression. We may have to slightly rotate this a little bit just to make sure that everything fits in there nicely. And it does. Put it between our plates and just run it through just like that. Okay. So we've got that one embossed. And again, it just kind of um, adds a little dimension, uh, helps the light sort of play with it a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one here. Oops. Okay. All right, so we've got a couple of nice embossed pieces. I'm going to put this away, and um, we're using nothing but AC cardstock today. No pattern paper, but again, this embossing almost gives the illusion of a patterned piece of paper. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, for those of you that are not aware, uh, if you ever want to have your um, supply list in the palm of your hand, um, download the official Dreaming Tree app from the App Store or Google Play. Just do a search for Dreaming Tree 
And under Craft Central here, there's a supply section where, um, and I'll be adding to this as time goes on, but you've got cardstock with links to where you can purchase it, where we use our vellum, the kind of glue that I use with a direct link to it, um, and then the machines that we recommend. Here's a link to the Cuddlebug, which again is, um, well, it's being discontinued, but definitely grab the app. It will answer a lot of questions that we get um, all the time. And it's super handy to have. All right, so on the inside here, we're gonna take this piece and just glue it right onto the little shadow area. So that's gonna fit perfectly where the bird is in the lime color here. So grab your glue and get your glue on there. I didn't clean my bottle out before this video, so I'm probably gonna have to do that. For some reason it flows and then it stops. I'm gonna pause for a commercial break. All right, well, it's flowing like Niagara now, so that's good. All right, so just get your glue on here, and again, I'll say it, and I'll say it forever. Less is more. Don't overdo it on the glue. Occasionally I'll get emails from some new people that are trying their hand on paper crafting, and they're like, well, I'm just having a hard time getting things to stick. It seems like they just never want to stay and I'm waiting way too long for everything to dry. How do you make it look so clean and easy? Well, practice, but it's definitely uh, using as little glue as necessary. Sometimes I get a little crazy and, you know, I'll throw a little extra out there, but okay. Anyway, so there is, there's the inside of the card, very simple. Now uh, we're gonna move on to the outside of the card here. Oh, and by the way, um, anytime I emboss and you see a picture, uh, this is another common question, is do you emboss before or after you cut? Now, if you think about it this way, if you emboss before you cut, then the blade is gonna have a very uneven surface to cut. So always emboss after you cut, okay? All right, so we'll get this glued down and get that in place. That's gonna go, again, into this little area here where you can see what I would call the shadow of the bird. And that's just gonna sit nicely right in this little spot here. Um, as I'm putting this down, I'm kind of paying attention to where the beak is and the top of his head, just to get that aligned nicely. And now I'm looking at the tail, making sure that that all fits. And now finally looking at the bottom because it needs to be nice and flush with the bottom to give it that natural look. Okay, so we've got two birds there. That looks nice. There we go. And we're gonna add the little, uh, little floral elements here that they're perched on. Okay, if you ever get a little too much glue on there, just wipe it with your nozzle or with your finger. I don't mind using my finger. Sometimes you guys yell at me for that, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna pop that right there. And because we embossed this, it almost creates a, you know, just gives this piece some added dimension because it's, you know, lifted up a little bit. Uh, if there are areas that don't stick because it's raised, you may need to go in and like this little area here, I'll show you what you can do about that. If it didn't stick, let me grab a scrap piece of paper here. Well, obviously, you're not gonna try to get your glue nozzle in there. That's just gonna create a mess. So if you take a piece of paper, it's only a piece of paper thick, obviously. Just take it, lift that little piece up. You can lift it up with the, peep, with the actual paper there and just paint a little bit of glue on the underside of that and then push that down. 
and just hold it for a few seconds just to make sure that it gets a good hold and then it'll stick nicely for you. Okay, and then we've got the other little floral element here on the other side. Okay, and you can see pretty much where that's gonna go. And just give that a press, that hold. Okay, now we've got a couple little flowers here. Now we've got this little area here that's popping up. So that is something that you may run into if you are trying to glue paper onto something embossed. That may happen, and that's okay. You just gotta give it a little extra love. I'm really taking my time on this card. It's very easy, but fun. Okay, so we've got a couple flowers. Very simple. I'm not going to do anything crazy with them. I'm just going to take my dowel and, you know, this flower is kind of really small, so I may not even need to uh, take and curl the petals around the dowel. The idea is literally to just press it against the dowel so that it takes on the curvature of that dowel. Since it's a small piece, you can kind of just train it like this. So rarely are you going to encounter creating harsh creases by doing this to a small little piece. I'm gonna just try it out here by just curling it in my fingers. And yeah, I guess it is kind of creasing it more than it would if I use something more round, like maybe my thumb or a dowel, and then maybe push it over. But you don't wanna do it too much, just a bit. And then you can throw a tiny little bit of glue onto this little circle here. And then this little circle here, this is where our two flowers are going to go. Okay, now obviously, when you put this card in the envelope, these flowers are probably going to flatten out a bit, so uh, but that's okay. They'll still, still be a little, a little more pronounced than the rest of the card, which leaves our little wing here. And the wing actually going to give this thing even more dimension by using some of our foam squares. So I'll flip it over and the idea with the foam squares is to, well, for one, you want to kind of hide them. You don't want them all the way out to the edge and use as few as necessary to achieve the desired look while kind of making sure that it stays um, dimensional and it doesn't sag or droop anywhere. Now this is a very small piece. Right? We couldn't get away with just one, but two seems to be just fine. So peel the backing off of that and place this right onto our little bird here. Now we don't have any markers to guide you on this, but the, um, the tip of the tip of the little wing there should be kind of going along that natural curve there that we see. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll put a few little pearls in some of these areas here, and that's pretty much it for the card, minus a little stamp that I found here. Uh, I've got some color box. I found a I'm so thankful little stamp here. I'm not really much of a stamper. Typically, we do a lot of print and cuts, but I did have a a little stamp that that worked and we've got a nice little area here for a stamp get that nice and centered pardon my head for just a second and I should be using the natural guides on the little uh, stamp pad but I'm not because I'm a rebel and I'll just stamp that right on there there we go okay and of course as always we do include a handy envelope to go along with the card and I've already folded everything here now again if you're using solid score lines or if you're using perforated lines the folding is going to be the same just go ahead and fold fold the hands in first and then put the diaper on and just a little bit of glue here don't do too much I noticed that when I 
use too much glue on the flaps here to hold these together. Sometimes it warps the paper and I don't like how it looks. So give that a little bit of glue, just a few seconds to hold. Just work that glue into the fibers. And then we've got a pretty little flap here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue it right here, nice and centered. Should have a nice even border going all the way around it. Now you wanna put the glue onto the actual flap itself, not onto the, uh, in my case, uh, magenta or light purple piece here. Okay, just like that. And if you want to really make that sit nicely, just throw a little bit around the perimeter. And then just center that nicely. Add a little extra glue down there, that's fine. Give that a press. And there we go. And we have a tiny little green piece here that we're going to use for the center of our flower. And pop that right there. Jeez. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And again, um, just take a look at the final photo and you'll be able to see the little pearls that we put on the, um, on the actual car just to kind of jazz it up a little bit. But it's got a really nice, nice soft pastel-y kind of feel and you can see it fits into the card envelope nicely. and. It is ready to be delivered to a member of your family or a friend who's going to be receiving one of these wonderful um, items from our For the Birds SVG bundle. So if you make this or any of the products from that new bundle, we'd love to see your version of it. So please join us in the official Dreaming Tree Facebook group. Uh, head over to Facebook, do a search for Dreaming Tree Group and join myself. And we're, we're approaching about 10,000 in the group and we've got over 40,000 uh, on the official page. So definitely join us. Uh, we love to be inspired by you. And if you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that you enjoy crafting with me. So uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I look forward to crafting with you again. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.